Today we are taking notes on section 5, which is completing the square. Before we do our first example, I just want to take a, us to take a look at why we complete the square. The first reason is to solve quadratic equations using the square root method. So we're going to take equations that are in standard form. We're going to complete the square so that we can take the square root. This would be instead of doing the quadratic formula. Second reason is to convert quadratic equations from standard form to vertex form. Today's lesson, we're just going to focus on that first objective using the square root method. So here's example number one. It says solve using the square root method. Right off the bat, I would say I can't use the square root method right away because I have x squared, yes, but this negative 10x. That's the issue for us. When you're completing a square, we want the side that has x squared to be a perfect square trinomial. So some examples of perfect square trinomials would be if the trinomial factored to be x subtract 1, x subtract 1, or x add 4, x add 4. So we want our two factors to be exactly the same. Let's see if that's the case here. We're looking for the two numbers whose product is 25, so two numbers who multiply to 25, and whose sum to be negative 10. You should know that those two numbers are negative 5, and negative 5. Okay, so that left side of the equation is a perfect square trinomial because my two factors are exactly alike. Now I want to rewrite those. Because they're both the same, I can rewrite that as x subtract 5 squared is equal to 27. At this point, I can take the square root. So take the square root of both sides. On the left side, I have x subtract 5 is equal to on the right side, I have positive and negative root 27. Now I want to break down that root 27. Perfect square that goes into 27 is 9, and then 3. Remember that the square root of 9 is 3. So now I have x subtract 5 is equal to positive and negative 3 root 3. Last thing I want to do is add that 5 to both sides. So I have x is equal to 5 plus or minus 3 root 3. So that's my final answer. Now with completing the square, most of the time it's not going to be the case that the left side of the equation is a perfect square trinomial. So let's look at the next example. Okay, are there two numbers that multiply to negative 9 add to be 16? No. So this is one of those cases where the left side is not a perfect square trinomial, so we're going to have to complete the square. First thing that I want to do is move this negative 9 over to the other side. So I want my x, all my x's on one side, and then I want the constant on the other side. That's going to leave me with x squared add 16x is equal to negative 9. Now in order to complete the square, I'm going to add something to both sides. So I'm going to rewrite this, leaving a blank for whatever I added, or whatever I plan to add. Sorry, my mistake, this should be a positive 9 since I added it to both sides. Okay, now here's how you figure out what number goes in that spot. Take this number, the b, you want to divide it in half, and then square it. So over here, 16 divided by 2 is 8, and then I want to square that. So I haven't done anything. I added a constant to the left side, added a constant to the right side. Now I'm going to rewrite the left side. So I have x squared, add 16x, add 8 squared is equal to 9, add 8 squared. Okay, now this left side of the equation is going to factor to be x add 8, x add 8, because 8 and 8 multiply to be 6, I mean multiply to be 8 squared and add to be 16. And then the right side of my equation, 9 add 64 is going to be 73. Okay, I'm going to continue my work up here. x add 8, x add 8 simplifies to be x add 8 squared. That's equal to 73. Now I'm at the point where I can take the square root again. 
Remember that square rooting and squaring are inverse operations, so they undo each other. So I have x add 8 is equal to positive and negative root 73. Remember, you have to put the positive and negative in there because you took the square root. And it's x squared, so we're looking for two solutions. Now I want to subtract 8 as my last step. So x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus root 73. This is my final answer. Please remember that negative 8 and root 73 are not like terms. You cannot combine them. So it's okay if we're a little confused right now. We're going to do one more example together, and then you're going to do one on your own. So here's our third example. Again, it says solve using the square root method. Again, we can't because we have an x squared and an x. This example is a little different from the ones we've done before, or the previous two, and that's because I have a 2x squared. In examples 1 and 2, I have 1x squared. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get rid of that 2. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to divide everything by 2. So just divide that 2 right out of the equation. 2x squared divided by 2 is just x squared. 8x divided by 2 is 4x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then on the right side of the equation, 0 divided by 2 is 0. Now I'm ready to complete the square. First thing that I want to do is move this 3 over to the other side. So x squared subtract 4x. We're going to add something here, so I'm going to leave a space, is equal to negative 3. And then again, I'm going to be adding something. Okay, now to find out what to add, I take this b, negative 4, I'm going to divide it by 2, and then I'm going to square it. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, and then I'm going to square that. Okay, now rewriting, I have x squared, subtract 4x, add negative 2 squared is equal to negative 3, add negative 2 squared. Now I'm at the point where I can factor that left side of the equation. So two numbers that are going to multiply to negative 2 squared and add to be negative 4 are just this negative 2 right here. So I'm going to rewrite this up here. Factoring, I have x subtract 2 squared. That's going to be equal to negative 3 add 4. So simplifying that right side of the equation, negative 3 add 4 is just positive 1. Now I'm at the point where I can take the square root. Square root. Left side, I have x subtract 2 is equal to square root of 1. It's positive and negative 1. Now I want to add 2 to both sides. I have x is equal to 2 plus or minus 1. Please do not leave your answer like this. You know what 2 add 1 is. So this is 2 add 1 or 2 subtract 1. You can actually do that, so actually simplify it. 2 add 1 is 3. 2 subtract 1 is 1. So my two solutions are x equals 3 and x equals 1. Okay, we have one more example to do. I would like you right now to pause the video and try this one on your own. Take about two minutes, come back, and then we'll go over it together. Okay, welcome back. First thing that you should have done is move that 9 over to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 9, subtract 9, x squared, subtract 10x. I'm going to leave a space to add something. If I'm adding something to the left side, i got to add it to the right side as well. Find out what I'm adding. I take this b term. So it's going to be negative 10. I'm going to divide it in half, and then I'm going to square it. Same thing over here. Okay, I'm going to rewrite that. x squared subtract 10x. Add negative 5 squared is equal to negative 9. Add negative 5 squared. Okay, my left side of the equation is ready to be factored. I have x subtract 5 squared. Remember that this negative 5 comes from that negative 5. That's equal to negative 9 add 25. So x subtract 5. Sorry. 
having some technical difficulties. Okay, so I'm left with x subtract 5 squared is equal to 16. At that point, you should have taken the square root of both sides. Okay, there we go. Thank you for being patient with me. Subtract 5 squared is equal to 16. Now I'm ready to take the square root, take the square root. So I have x subtract 5 is equal to plus or minus 4. Okay, so now I want to add 5 to both sides. x is equal to 5 plus or minus 4. Actually calculate it, don't leave it that way. 5 add 4 is 9, 5 subtract 4 is 1. Okay, so there we go. Now we know how to complete the square so that we can use the square root method.